Hello, girls, guys, or otherwise, this is Rich with a special report. I've mentioned in the past that there are some things going on at work that I'm not at liberty to discuss. Now that those things are done and over, I can discuss with you all some of the things that have been happening in the background. Since I got out of active duty to grow my business full time in 2018, my finances have been a little shaky to say the least. Because of things I still won't be able to discuss yet, I almost lost my house in 2019. Luckily, I had a good friend that was able to help me get back on, on track by working at a storage unit facility in August of 2019. Before the lockdown procedures in March of 2020, the company, which owns five facilities, decided to sell three of them. When the lockdown happened, they paid the relief managers, me, to stay home and stay healthy. Then the sale fell through. The lockdown for us lifted and we went back to work as usual. Properly distanced and whatnot, of course. Around March of this year, we were all instructed to be part of a teleconference again, where we were told again that they were selling, this time, all five facilities. Now that the sale has gone through, I can discuss some of what this means for me. As part of the agreement, the buying company needed to give the current employees first dibs on positions with the company at the same facilities. I have applied and I got the job. This isn't the same position though. The position that I ended up getting is a part-time position. This is okay. And actually what I applied for while making the same wage per hour that I was, I was making before. What I didn't mention to anyone until the sale was well underway is that I spent the last year saving up my money to have a cushion just in case they ended up selling again. Since it did end up happening, I'm glad I did. See, I didn't leave a full-time military career to work at a storage unit facility making someone else money. No, I did it to make me money and to further my business. And a part of that plan was lost during my time working there. So during the lockdown, I started coming up with a plan to make sure that by the end of 2021, I would be able to either go part-time or quit my job entirely and follow my passions. So what does this mean for me? This means that after my training period with the new company, I will no longer have a full-time income. I will only be working three days a week and have, a, and have the time to focus on my business full-time like I initially intended back in 2018. So what does this mean for the channel? This channel is going to remain, no questions about it. The plan right now is to use some of the initial period to pre-record videos for scheduled release. Overall, you probably won't notice a difference at all. After the initial period, I will then go to working on my, my eBay business, my antiques and collectibles. This will be a learning experience on making sure that the balance is just right, and I know that you will understand if there is a missed video once in a while, if it happens. But that's not all. Even with the finances being vigorously saved, I can always use your help. I don't have a huge channel, and ever since YouTube made the 4,000 hour rule, I can no longer monetize my videos. I know that not everyone can help donate, and quite frankly, I feel really weird asking. But I will be setting up a Patreon if you would like to give help with the finances. I have some goals in mind uh, to hopefully, hopefully give this channel a better look and feel, as well as getting Christopaganism.com up and running like I want it to. There are some issues that need to be addressed with the website specifically. I need to get an SSL certificate. I need to purge the users that are spam and invest in a good firewall program that will keep the spammers off the site. Most of them seem to be coming from Russia. I wonder why. I would also like the website to be a place for Christo pagans, but also pagans, witches, or Christians, however you identify. 
but it hasn't really gone as initially planned thus far. So some of these finances will go to help get the website up, you know, get it up to par. So it is there for the virtual community center that I intend it to be. Patreon isn't the only way that you can help out though. If you would like to get something for your money, you can always buy something from my eBay store. A link will be in the description box below. I'm also thinking of starting a channel just for that business. Let me know if you would like to see something like the version, a version of American Pickers, or basically me going through boxes and talking about items and the history behind them, the eBay business, or anything related to that. The world is our oyster. I have seen some people doing these videos and they are so much fun to watch. Curiosity Inc. is a muse for me. This is certainly not all of the peaks behind the curtain and the next reveal will certainly be for the patrons first and the reveal in its own time here on this channel. This is all good news and I'm looking forward to making my own way in this world like I initially intended. There are many steps to take before I consider this channel and the website up to my satisfaction. It won't be easy, but I think this is what I'm meant to be doing at this stage in my life. But that's all that I have for this video. So I'm going to thank you all for the support that you've given me in the past and the support I'm sure you're going to give me in the future. And I wish you all love, hugs, and ladybugs. Rich out.